Okay, that's muted. I'm gonna let you all come in the room. Hey, Lupe. How are you? I wanna let you all come in. Because I already know the notifications probably won't be sent out until a little bit later. Well, minutes later. Come on in, Sagittarius. This is going to be your May 2023 reading. Hey, Dorothy. Hey, hey, girl. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling the cards. Um, I know some people may have got trapped by the ads. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards here. I want to see what's going to come out here for you, Sagittarius, for May. For May. Hey, Lele. This is for Sagittarius for May. I'm not going to make a big deal out of this reading. I've been just so laid back trying to do some reads and not just try to channel more than anything. Um, and that's pretty much what I'm going to do for you, Sagittarius. <clears throat> you made a, you made a love reading a time. This is going to be for everything. Whatever comes out. Some some uh, some people have the you know for the month of May is going to be the theme is going to be love, uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean that's for you, Sagittarius. But we'll see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the top, okay? Let's see what's going to come out here for you. Kinder Spirits, look at that. Lele, you got your wish with this one. So I'm definitely seeing here, and sometimes Kinder Spirits does, you know, have a an energy of friend, friendships as well. So it's not just about a love. This is someone that you can draw very close to. Usually with elephants, elephants are... Um, they always portray elephants to be uh, very friendly and someone that you can draw like a like a like an animal that you can draw close to. And I feel like and they're very tender and very soft and very loving. And this is the type of energy that I feel that most of you will be coming across or around. Yes. Could this be in a love? Yeah, definitely. OK, it could also be in friendships as well. OK, but kindership is something that's really good to see. Here, a huge opportunity that's coming in here for you, Sagittarius. You guys had opportunity. Now, when we get into the other cards, we want to see what that means, okay? Opportunity with your uh, job, okay? I don't know. I feel heavy career, job, something like that happening for you this month. So even though it's coming after kindership, I do feel like this is going to have something to do with your work. Somebody may want another opportunity with you if this has something to do with someone from the past, someone that you feel could be a soulmate or something like that, okay? Let's see what else is going to come out here. Oh, messages. So you are going to receive some kind of message. This could be spirit messages. I, I definitely feel an intuitive energy here with you. But yeah, Sagittarius. Okay, things. This looks really good. You know, usually you see some sad cards. You see all types of stuff. And I'm not seeing this in your reading, none whatsoever. I do feel like there's going to be a soulmate energy coming in here for you guys. And a huge opportunity in different areas. I feel like this is going to be work and in your your uh, love. Now let's go ahead. Let's keep going. Hey, KH, how are you? Let's see what else is going to come out here for you, Sagittarius. I'm just going to look at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what these three cards have in store for Sagittarius in May. So I do feel like something suddenly, there is going to be a message that you're going to receive suddenly. It's going to kind of bring you out of a stressful situation is what this looks like to me. If you guys have been waiting for some type of opportunity, someone is going to suddenly send you a message. Someone wants to make peace because harmony is coming out in your reading. Someone wants to um, apologize or they want forgiveness is what I'm seeing. Look at that. Exactly where I stopped. Harmony. Okay. Someone is definitely wanting peace with you. And I feel like this person in general, um, 
you know, could appear to be the type of person that, you know, seem like they're not bothered by you not being together, not bothered by um, how you feel or something like that. But I just feel like it's all smoke and mirrors. I feel like this person really does have strong feelings for you. And um, this is the reason why someone will be sending a message. This could be someone new. You know how like you can you can be around someone and you're wondering, like, do they even like me? You know, do they find me attractive? And this person plays it off so well. And, you know, I just feel like that's the type of energy that I'm getting too, where whoever you're around, they're pretending to be like unfazed. Okay. Pretending to be unfazed. This is for Sagittarius. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Telephone. And again, every time I look down, and this is intentional. So when I look down, that's the card I want to stop on. So there is going to be someone that's going to be reaching out to you here, Sagittarius. Let's get one more. This is for Sagittarius. Um, so it's some type of situation that for some of you, you're maybe wanting. Maybe it's uh you have two different opportunities. Let's say you have your you're dealing with one partner or one person, something is unlikely to happen. So I would say maybe it's a job opportunity that you are wanting. You're not meant to go in that direction. It's a certain direction that you're meant to go in. Kindership does feel very much so like faded energy. So some things are not going to work for you is what I'm saying, okay? There is some connections. I see connections with new friends and with a lover here. All right, let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is going to be for Sagittarius. And I'm only just literally, the only thing that I'm doing is just channeling today. And I'm going to be using all a lot of decks here. Let's see. Hey, hey. All right. Inheritance. So I feel like a lot of you are going to be inheriting spiritual gifts, number one, but I also feel like there's going to be something that someone is going to give you. So I feel like your family could give you money, you know, and I feel like inheritance could technically come from people who actually give you things that's not your family. So I do feel like there's going to be some kind of gift, okay, that you don't expect. Suddenly is unexpected messages, unexpected gifts, and we saw that with the message. And I meant to say that earlier when I saw that that popped out. Unexpected messages, unexpected gifts. Okay, here with inheritance. And this is a part of your blessings, um, Sagittarius, that I see that's going to happen for you. A lot of you have so much responsibility with family um, is what this looks like to me. I feel like it's tired energy. A lot of too much, too much on your plate is what I'm hearing. Too much on your plate or too much on your mind, okay? And you need to balance everything between your house chores, between your family responsibility. Some of you have responsibility outside your actual home, which would be your old, your elder mother, your elder father, someone who's older. So I do see a lot of responsibility that you guys have. And it's just one of those things where if you could uh, refine, delegate, delegate tasks. So let's just say you're, you have an older son. Maybe they can go over grandmother's house. Maybe they can go over, you know, grandpa house to help. You know, don't try to do everything yourself, okay? And maybe you may have, you know, two jobs. That's another thing, okay? It's like you're trying to balance everything and it's driving you crazy because anytime responsibility comes out, it can feel like a, he a heavy load, okay? Delegate. Whether it's at your job or at home, try to, try to have other people to help you, okay? And I know you don't like to ask for help, but this, this may be the time where you should be doing it, okay? This is for Sagittarius. What else is going to come out here for Sagittarius here? Resolution. Didn't I tell you? All right. Someone wants another opportunity. There will be a message. We saw it twice. Telephone call. Someone reaching out to you because they are wanting another opportunity with you. Opportunity with your career through the telephone, through someone reaching out, through a message. Someone may leave some type of message on your, your, your voicemail. Hey, 
you know, Sagittarius, you know, your resume looked good. Okay, that is something that I'm seeing because responsibility is here, which also talks about work energy. Okay. Huge opportunity coming in, but I definitely see that someone resolution is someone wanting to resolve a problem that you had before. Let's, I was supposed to put that card down. Let's get one more here. Some of you are dealing with a water sign. Ooh, Sagittarius, you came out in your own reading. And yes, this is a part of the kinder, right? This is that divine counterpart that you guys have coming in here. Um, the Queen of Wands came out, which is amazing. The Queen of Wands is um, very innovative, very sexy. Um, she gets what she wants. It's that type of thing. You feel really good about your soul. Like right now, there could be a lot that's on your plate because you do have responsibility in your present energy. But in your future, there's a, a, an enthusiasm that you're going to be feeling. Something that's making you feel very excited here. Okay. Love it. Let's go ahead. Let's get your tea leaves. Let's see. This is for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. <clears throat> spiritual development. Remember I said spiritual messages. So a lot of you are going to be getting spiritual enlightenment. All right. This is through dreams. This is through psychic you know, it can be, you, I mean, truly you can start seeing visions, you can start seeing all types of stuff. Anything dealing with spiritual development is something that I always see where there's an, an, an heightened mint when it comes down to your spirituality and you being very much in tune with the universe. So expect something like that, okay? Which could be through dreams. Some of you guys, when I say that, you kind of shoo that away. But I'm telling you right now, it's like spirit is trying to send you a message, but you have to pay attention to it too. Because some of these things could actually like save your life, you know? So just, there's going to be more awareness, more understanding on the spiritual realm, okay? Let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius. Yeah, new job. <clears throat> Just talked about that through what? A phone call, okay? And this is what I said, unexpected or sudden. So there's going to be an opportunity, new opportunity for a new job, new career. And some of you may just have two jobs. And this is the reason why I was saying just be careful with making sure you delegate tasks because there's a lot of responsibility. Responsibility looks like the tit of wands in my brain, okay? Uh, which could be a little, a little overwhelming. Didn't I say excitement and enthusiasm and dyna dynamic? You have excitement that came out. You see how all the cards are saying the exact same thing? Okay. There's things that are going to be completely changed for you by December. December is when your birthday comes up. And this also came out with, de with December. So I really do feel like there's going to be so many changes by your birthday. Okay. You're going to be leaving one job for another job for some of you. And that is going to be a part of your responsibility to, um, here or a part of your decisions. Because, I mean, truly, when you think about it, um, maybe that's the reason why, you know, the responsibility card came out or opportunity card came out. You could say, well, the, the job pays a lot. The job pays a lot, but they're asking me, they're giving me more responsibility with the career, with the job. Yep, exactly, because you're going to be in a different role. So this is letting me know, for some of you, this could be a supervisory role. Um, you're going to have more responsibility. That's just what I'm saying, okay? And you will possibly leave one job for another job to prepare for these opportunities here. Let's go ahead before I get into the tarot. Let's get two more for Sagittarius. Thank you. Oh, all right. At the bottom of the deck, Spirit wanted you guys to see this here with happiness. Okay? So happiness is coming. You see how I keep getting messages in the letter? Messages, we had the telephone. So that's three times that we're getting messages. And again, like I said before, this could come spiritually, spiritual awareness, spiritual understanding. And even in the, in the physical realm, coming from like some type of job opportunity, your lover wanting another opportunity. We'll see when we get into the tarot, but that's what I'm saying. 
something dealing with court here. Involvement with the law. I'm going to keep this in mind. Any problems that you have right now are temporary because we see happiness coming out for you. So any issue, any problem that you may be experiencing is not going to last, okay? I know that that's it's a, it's a weird thing because it's like sometimes you can see the future or you see it, you get real excited about it, but you just need it to happen right now. It is only temporary. It's like clouds that are passing by. It's like a storm. It's not going to last forever. Let's get into your tarot. Somebody could want a reconciliation. Look at that. Split the deck. Split the deck. <laughs> now, you know, the judgment is your decision, is your choice. Who do you want to be with? Who, who are you going to have in your space, in your life, in your heart? A judgment call will be made. A decision will be made, okay, regarding your love life, okay? Let's get it. This is going to be for Sagittarius. I'm just going to, well, I might as well shuffle normally. It's like, can you trust this person though? I feel like the, the, the problem here has been trust issues. Even if the person was to come back in your life, it's kind of like, can I trust you? I don't know if I can trust you. That's the conversation because this person has hurt you. They've hurt you a lot, okay? dealing with other people or um, just in general confusing you. Look at this, Ace of Wands, another card that talks about excitement and, and feeling excited. <laughs> this is so amazing, right? I love it. Ace of Swords. Remember I talked about a decision with work even a decision with this person that's going to come in your life, I'm definitely seeing it. You had two aces back to back. Can you believe that? So career and work is something that I'm seeing here. Heavy conversation when it comes down to an opportunity that you are wanting. I'm telling you, if, if there is a job opportunity that's going to come, I'm, I'm only emphasizing this because in the beginning of this reading, I said the opportunity felt more so like money and career. And a lot of you... Oh, I forgot. Oh, my God, Sagittarius. I wrote down like in a notebook, like every all my channel messages. I cannot believe that I forgot it. OK, so you will have an extra read today. OK, um, because for some of you and the reason why I thought about it was because for some of you, there's a declining business, declining money. So there's heavy conversations in regards to your finances. And who are you talking to this to like about? Who are you talking to about your money, your finances? And I feel like it has something to do with in like a, a, a CEO or a boss or something like that. Maybe even spirit because your money has been not so good at all. For some of you, not everybody. But I mean, your money has been really not good. So if you get the opportunity um, when it comes down to a career, you need to take this. This is what it looks like to me. Okay. Because I'm not liking the way the money is looking here. And so it's an opportunity. It came out three times. You need to take it. All right. Because this is the only way that's going to push you forward when it comes down to your finances. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going. I can't believe that. So, yeah, I'm definitely. I mean, I had two whole pages of channel messages for you. I have the five of cups. So let's get to love. I haven't really talked about love too much. Um, I would say, you know, for a lot of you, I don't really see a, a permanent love situation right now. I do feel like you're going to be dating. I feel like, yes, there could be intimacy. Definitely here with the Ace of Wands. Intimacy, communication, conversation. But ultimately, I'm not seeing you being satisfied the way you will want to be. Um, the five of cups is here. It's disappointment. It's not saying that you can't be in a relationship. You're just not getting what you want out of it. Okay. And so again, you are getting more, you're becoming more aware. There's clarity here on uh, many levels in your life with your spirituality, with your work, with your love life. And the five of cups is pretty, you know, pretty obvious here that uh, you're not getting what you want out of a relationship. I don't think that is time. I feel like time is playing a huge factor um, when it comes down to your um, 
to your love life, okay? It's not time for the harvest yet. There's other things that I feel like you should be doing, other things that I feel like you should be focusing on here, and I'm just not seeing a very strong relationship uh, reading. Um, interest, yes. Are you going to be interested in people? Um, are people going to be interested in you? Absolutely. But I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing a long-term committed relationship. Not today. You got happiness that's coming out though. So let me keep pulling, let me see. There is someone who's definitely faded for you. Here it is again. Remember, kinder came out, kindership. So there is, and I think you had the divine counterpart. So I feel like, you know, you haven't met them yet. Isn't that a song, I haven't met you yet? That's what I'm saying. You haven't met this person yet. Yeah, because you've been dealing with someone that's been in and out, dealing with very impulsive energy. All right? This is what you've been dealing with. Here with the Two of Wands, this is saying that, you know, as far as you, how you see your future, you don't see your future with this person. You, you're, you're more so uh, dating, thinking about the long term. You're not getting that here with this person. Sorry. Uh-uh. And you know, they, exactly. And this is why some things are going to be ending here. There's change. There's, you know, there's change here with the death card. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of you are going to part ways with your business, with your work. I see you completely walking away with, this is a new job. I'm telling you, I see your, there's going to be something completely changing with your career. Getting what you want here with the Nine of Cups. After you have enough strength to walk away with, you know, from things that don't serve you. The Ace of Swords also talked about severing ties, cutting ties here. Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. Your money is going to get better. That's part of your desire. Your money, and this is like... You're no longer in the background. Something that you're going to be doing, you're going to be in the front and center, which is making me believe more so like a, um, it makes it feels like a boss or some type of leadership, okay? Now, here you go. You got the three of cups. This is celebration. Remember, I said friends is kindership. Romantic partners are kindership. Um, and I see a lot of uh, support with friends, um, I see a lot of going out, relaxing, having fun because you have the victory energy. The Ace of Swords talks about the victory energy. You are getting what you want because the star card here is hopes and dreams. And a lot of your dreams are starting to come true. We see it with your money. We see it with the people that you're around. People are going to be more supportive. Three of Cups talks about support. And that's definitely something that I'm saying. Getting you out of any type of depressed energy sadness, regret, which someone may have. Someone has some regret, and this is the reason why they're going to be messaging you, by the way. They don't want it to be over. We saw it before, and I'm seeing it right now. Be prepared for some type of sudden communication or someone's, you know, uh, unexpectedly coming to your door, okay? Um, so I'm seeing that. But you have decisions to make because right now you're focused on yourself. You may not be sold on them. That's why I said trust issues. And there's other people that you're dating as well. So clarity in all choices, all decisions in your life. Spiritual advancement and awareness is going to pull you forward, catapult you forward is, is, is something that I'm saying here. I promise you, I'm going to have that video for you today because I've done so many reads. I have to post later on. I don't have to really work too much today. Um, so I want to do that video where I channeled those messages. And it was such a beautiful reading. I don't know why I just thought about it. I apologize. Okay. Um, so I got to grab the book for the other reads. But this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. This is your part one, May 2023 reading. The other messages were all channeled spirit guide messages and I wrote them down and I will have it for you a little bit later on tonight. So make sure you set your timers for that. Okay. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys back here again soon.